Shalom, this is Rabbi Mark Angel at the Institute for Jewish Ideas and Ideals. Our website is jewishideas.org. The Institute stands for an intellectually vibrant, compassionate, and inclusive Orthodox Judaism. Thanks so much for tuning in today. We received a question, it's right before Rosh Hashanah, and many people have the custom of visiting cemeteries during the month of Elul, during the holiday season. And the question that was raised is, um, are people, when they go to the cemeteries, are they supposed to, or are they allowed to, pray to the souls of the deceased to ask the deceased to uh, intervene with God uh, in order to uh, give us a better year or give us good health, etc. It's actually a very interesting question which has a long history to it. Uh, the Talmud in Tanit 16a has a following discussion. It says, Lama in the Why do we go to cemeteries in times of distress? There's a debate between two rabbis. One is Rabbi Levi Bar and the other is Rabbi Hanina. One of them says, We are coming to the cemetery because we come before God and we say, You know, God, we are before you just like these dead people. We are small, we are just dust. And it's a way of teaching us humility. So that's uh, why we go to the cemetery China to give us a give our hearts a feeling of despair and despondency, and we come before God as humble human beings. That's one opinion. The second opinion, The second opinion is so that we can ask the deceased people to uh, come before the Almighty and ask they should ask for us uh, that God should have mercy on us. Now, when this uh, discuss, so you see that there are both opinions are within the Talmud. When Maimonides codifies uh, this particular law in uh, the Rambam in uh, Mishneh Torah and Ta'anit, chapter 4, Halacha 18, he only takes the first opinion, namely that we go to the cemetery not to ask the dead to intercede for us, but rather as a sign of humility. We come before God and say, uh, We are as dead, as nothing, as dust, and therefore please have mercy on us. The Shulchan Aruch, likewise, on um, the Or Chaim 579.3, follows the Ramam's view. Now, intellectually, uh, it is obviously much more uh, sound intellectually to follow the opinions of Maimonides and the Shulchan Aruch, and that the cemetery is simply a place where we feel more contrite, more humble, and therefore we come before God with our prayers being more sincere in a sense, and more rooted in our humility in our humanity. However, there is in the folk culture a very strong sense that you go to the graves of the righteous, the graves of relatives, in order to uh, ask them to intercede for us. It's hard to say that's wrong, although I would say it's not uh, obviously uh, desirable in, in many ways, uh, certainly not from the point of view of the Rambam and the Shulchan Aruch. Uh, I think we have to just step back a moment and ask what is it that we are really trying to uh, attain by making these prayers at the cemetery. If our purpose is to show respect to the dead and show that we feel that their righteousness continues and that their righteousness will in impact on us, then I think it's uh, certainly meritorious. Why not to go to the cemetery and, and feel this emotional tie to the people who have uh, been deceased uh, but who have a continued influence on our lives? What can we say against that? On the other hand, if we somehow have a superstitious view that the souls will intercede for us. This does smack of superstition, frankly, and it's not really the mainstream of Jewish thought. Uh, all of us have the right and the responsibility to pray directly to God. We don't need to ask the souls of the deceased to intercede for us. We can go straight to the boss ourselves. We don't need extra help from souls. If it gives us an emotional lift to feel we're in the presence of their souls, or if we are by being standing before their graves, we feel somehow a greater connection to them. All right, I understand that. That's an emotional tie, and uh, one can't argue with such strong emotion. So let's go to the bottom line. The bottom line is if people go to graves of the righteous, the graves of the relatives, and they pray for the souls to intercede for them, I think it's hard to say that that's a sin. It's hard to say it's totally wrong. On the other hand, it's not the ideal. The Rambam does cite the ideal, namely that we go to the cemetery in order to inspire ourselves with a greater sense of humility and to consider ourselves as though we are dead, to consider our own mortality and therefore we come before God with greater uh, contriteness, contrition and greater sensitivity. So for those masses of people who go to the graves uh, in a more superstitious level, let them live and be well and I hope their prayers are listened to. 
But for the rest of us, let's pray directly to God. And if we go to the cemetery for inspiration, then let us go with a proper notion that we stand before the graves of our loved ones and before the graves of our sages as a way of them of, of them inspiring us, their lives inspiring us, so that we can come before God with greater purity and greater sincerity. I hope this has been helpful. I ask you to please visit our website, jewishideas.org, for lots of articles and questions and discussions on a lot of topics. Uh, please support the Institute for Jewish Ideas and Ideals. The more of you who tune into our website, who tune into our YouTube, and who actually support the Institute, the greater our chances of influencing the larger Jewish community to have a greater intellectual vitality, a more compassionate and more inclusive orthodoxy, and a Judaism which is intellectually alive and which is meaningful to our generation and generations yet to come. Thanks very much. Chazak, chazak, shana tovah.